Hi, my name is Rochelle, and I'm the mother of the mother-daughter team of Godiva's Secret Wigs. And today I want to show you what is a lace front wig and what is a mono or monofilament wig. So we're going to take this step by step, especially for new wig wearers. I think you'll find this interesting. So the main difference between machine teased and mono or monofilament wigs is a machine teased is always going to give you a little height. If you like height in a wig, like you've seen us in pictures of Freedom, Katie, Candace, uh, many short wigs, they'll have a little lift, a little height. That is machine teased. If you want a flatter look, let's say you have fine hair and you don't want to go too high and too full, then a mono or a monofilament wig is going to be for you. And I don't know if you can see this, but it's the hair on monofilament is hair by hair. You can, it's got like a see-through scalp. So very easy to wear. And today I'm going to put on a Cassandra lace front mono. And this gorgeous color is Maple Sugar R. So when you're putting a wig on for new wig wearers, Godiva's Secret Wigs, we always have our stretch little straps on each side of the label that you can tighten or loosen. So that is where you hold the wig upside down. So here is the wig, here's the label. I'm going to take it upside down and put my fingers right there. Then when I put it on, my goal is to have the wig start right here between my eyebrow and my forehead because you'll see why, okay? There's the because. So I'm holding it and I'm dipping my head in and you want to be able to stretch the wig like I'm doing right now. If you're putting the wig on and it's just sliding right over your head, that's because you didn't put it low enough. You need this middle part of your forehead as an anchor to help gently stretch the wig over your head. So if your wig is always sliding off, that's the secret, ladies. Don't ever try and get it the perfect spot when you first put it on. So. Once again, I've got it right here. And then I'm using my fingers, tucking in my own hair. I've prepared my hair. And now we're looking like this. I'm going to flip it right over. So the beauty of this wig, lace front, watch my forehead move. and I'm stopping right at my hairline. You wanna do this carefully because if you just yank it up and you go too far, you can't just pull it back forward again. You really have to get that stretch over the wig. So if that happens, just take it off and do it again. God, isn't this color maple sugar R? Oh, ooh la la. So I have to back up because this wig is so beautiful and long. So back to business. I get so excited about our Godiva secret wigs. It makes me crazy. So I've got the wig at my hairline and now I want to make sure that the tabs are even. So there are little curvy tabs, right? They go right above the ear part of the wig. So all you do is grab on and you'll feel them because they're a little harder. They also have a wire in them. So they can appear when you grab them, sometimes they go up, see like a fan or like a wing. You don't want it to be a wing. You want it to be flat. So bend that wire so it's straight right against your face. Okay, all about illusion. Okay, so very important. Do that on both sides. 
So you want to make sure the wig is at your hairline, the tabs are even, completely even. Then you can style. So look at this monofilament wig. This is a gorgeous see-through scalp and see how flat it lays. So normally I will say, make it full, tease it up, but for many of you or for a wig like this, oh my gosh, it's just right against my head. That is the beauty of a monofilament wig. And most of us have machine teased wigs, monofilament wigs, we switch around. The other uh, beauty is I can create a little zigzag part just by winding my brush back and forth. And you kind of play with it, but it will make any look you want. Now see how there is no bang in this wig, but you can easily have a bang cut into it. Or look how amazing this length is. But again, for me, I don't want that length. So look how amazing this wig would be trimmed right here. See this little feathering, very gentle feathering and imagine it trimmed right there. Gorgeous and very easy for a hairdresser to do. So imagine if it was trimmed and there were some bangs put into it. That'd be phenomenal. Let me just show you. I'm switching parts and you can do that on a monofilament wig. The whole entire top crown area is the mono, means the hairs were put on hair by hair. So it looks natural however you part it and you can get that very flat look if that's what you like. Okay, so that is a monofilament lace front, lace front ladies. So if you don't want bangs and you want it, let's say you want to twist this hair back. Oh, with the lace front, it's amazing. You can leave a few wispies down and clip it in the back and you're done. So the beauty of our wigs is they don't take a lot of styling. Danielle and I don't have the time and you're busy women like we are. So we have a very strict criteria for our wigs and number one, they've got to be light, comfortable, and easy and fast to put on. Well, that's not number one, but those are all our number ones, okay? So look at the back. So just beautiful. So wherever you see LF on our wigs, that means lace front. And let me say that we do not suggest heating, gluing, flattening. We do not suggest living in our wigs. We suggest that you wear them that day and then you take them off. Even though our wigs have open wefts all throughout the wig, you still, and that, that means your scalp can breathe, it doesn't inhibit hair growth, but you still want to take your wigs off in the evening and then put them on the next day. So many clients, my sister being one of them, has worn wigs for over 15 years and she wears her wig every single day. Her hair is in fantastic condition because she stopped coloring, bleaching, and <laughs> she doesn't blow dry anymore. She's not putting drying product on her hair and I've ne never seen her hair look thicker and better, although she keeps it real short. She wears a wig every day. So that's what many, many of our clients do. Our clients have wig wardrobes like I do. They own two to 20 wigs and 30 and 40, and they stop buying shoes and they buy wigs. They create a wig wardrobe that helps them feel pretty in their life. You know, ladies, if we feel great from here down, but our hair doesn't complete 
the image that we want to convey in our lives, the women we want to look like, there is no need to feel bad about your hair and hate your hair. So love your hair, even if it's just a few strands, but submit to wigs. So many clients of ours, they've made that change from very, very fine hair to now wearing wigs all the time. And the main thing they say is, why the heck did I wait so long? So have fun. I hope this video helped you understand more about lace front <laughs> and mono wigs. And thank you so much for watching. And we really appreciate your business. And please subscribe to our videos. Okay, bye.